Creating a Global Sustainability Collaborative. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 205. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 205, February 26, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the Fulfilled Living lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of fulfilled living. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the consensus and decision-making lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the play lesson plan, bringing it to 25% complete and added the theme images to the play lesson plan page. In addition, the core team continued creation of renders for the ultimate classroom. We updated the windows, tables, and chairs for the blue, indigo, and red room, added items to the orange room, and rendered the entry doorway area. We also created the initial layout for the ultimate classroom component of the Developing Highest Good Education introductory video. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team completed edits and additional content needed to bring the transition kitchen page to 90% complete. And Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with his 19th week developing the new search engines for our site. This week's work was finishing adding the final links to the highest good food search engine. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team created easier to read and website optimized versions of all the images needed for the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template and tutorial. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her third week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week, she researched filtration options and worked out the details necessary to design the barrel collection, storage, and filtration system shown here. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his fourth week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower designs. This week's focus was researching a new design for the heat exchanger and updating the sink designs with a new location for the point of use electric water heater. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, help create the formatting and initial presentation of the communal eco-shower heat exchanger engineering details shown here. Adrienne gould Choquet, mechanical engineer, also finished her 10th week helping create the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template and tutorial. This week's focus was more integration of feedback and writing all the content you see here for the tips and tricks section of the tutorial. 
Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, continued with his 13th week of managing the vermiculture bathroom development with his ninth week of help from Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student. This week's focus, as shown here, was on more updates and design explorations for the removable compost receptacle attachments. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 57 of Dean's work, developing this progression of 30 images for the room lighting for the east side living spaces. Adding details to Dean's previous work, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, added people and nature elements to create these two new final views of the Cobb Village roof view looking southwest and the Cobb Village inside south wing looking north view. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 32nd week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was more render test and texture updates for the kitchen, main entry and living spaces and creation of this final render of the main entryway looking southeast. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 17th week of work focusing on continuing the development of the layout and landscaping details in front of the structure. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 28th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was continuing the process of learning how to use the Dialux software, modeling the city center's social dome bathrooms, and continuing lighting testing with different floor and wall colors. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center's structural engineering. This week's focus was continuing the roof designs and working out more details for the column flange and weight specifics, as shown here. Ramya Beauty, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. What you see here are a couple of photos from the weekly collaborative calls with Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and this week's research into what is needed to connect to and sell solar power back to the grid. And Henan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his ninth week working on the Duplicle City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was continuing to integrate the new dome geometry into the master file and simplification and standardization of the faster file layers. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished another several rounds of developing the new Highest Good Education video. What you see here in the background is the most recent developed and tested video and graphics. Tools and tutorials and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call Highest Good Living. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. To help, share this video and visit our helping page. Hannah Gibbs, web developer, also completed her fifth week of helping develop the Taxes and Sustainable Community Building page. This week's focus was creating and updating the site with more new graphics and formatting updates so everything looks good on phones too. One community is creating a global sustainability collaborative through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainable living. And our idea is that if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough through comprehensive teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities that demonstrate self-sufficiency and self-sustainability in a way that provides a way of living that it, most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now, 
We believe that if we can make that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And our path to doing that is beyond just open sourcing tools, tutorials, and resources, but through an actual evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are high good education, high good economics, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability and demonstrating it as a complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub to be built anywhere in the world. And that hub is meant to be the foundation for creating a global sustainability collaborative. One community will be the prototype, but it is purpose specifically to replicate itself. And everything we're doing is open source and free shared specifically to help with replication of everything as individual components or as the complete model, as the complete teacher demonstration hub to be built around the world and to work in collaboration with us and other teacher demonstration hubs to open source and free share more and more content. Everything necessary to create a global sustainability collaborative of people with different values, with different goals, but all sharing a common understanding that sustainable living is the path of the future, that it just makes sense to live sustainably versus not sustainably. And as we demonstrate the complete model and the way of life that will be far superior to the way that most people are living right now. Once we demonstrate that, we believe that there will be a large scale rush of the general populace to duplicate what it is that we're doing. But for that to accomplish, there's many iterations that need to be created so that people have diversity, so that people have choices. And for that to be accomplished, we have to create the first. We have to build the first one community, the first version, which is one community. So. This is what we're doing. We're bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that the true solution to the challenges, the broad diversity of challenges that humanity is facing right now is a comprehensive one. People that carry the consciousness for the highest good of all and believe that all of the challenges that we're facing right now are not only interrelated, but actually interdependent. That education needs to be addressed if homelessness is to be addressed, that homelessness is, is to be addressed if the lack of energy infrastructure and proper waste disposal is to be addressed. And those things are going to be, need to be addressed if social injustice is to be addressed. If we are to have global peace, then there needs to be enough for everybody. And one community is here to help create a world that works for everybody. And we believe that it's possible within our lifetime. We believe it's possible within our lifetime with a self-replicating model. And so our goal is to make that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so it will spread on its own so that human ingenuity can do the rest. And by open sourcing the foundations and free sharing it all so that people that don't want a complete teacher demonstration hub can still build a sustainable home or plant their own garden or start a nonprofit organization or any of the other aspects of our project or start an educational program, all the different things that we're doing. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if, if the idea of creating a global sustainability collaborative is something that you'd like to get involved with, we invite you to join us. We've got lots of different ways to participate. And of course, the easiest way to help us out or to participate is just sharing our information on social media. It makes a big difference. You know, We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information, to get the information in the hands of those that want it, that are most interested, to spread it as broadly and as widely as possible. We are on Pinterest, we are on Tumblr, we are on Twitter, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, of course, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Of course, people also ask, well, what is the biggest thing that I can do to help? Well, joining our team would be one, or if you or somebody you know has access to the funds, we're still seeking large-scale funding, either donation to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or investment in one community to help us get the property off the market, and to be able to share those details, to disclose the specific location, and to take our whole open source process to the next level as we start doing site surveys and the specifics that are necessary for that specific property and moving towards the direction of allowing people to come and visit, experience it, start building so that we can start running work crews and all those details as well. So if you or somebody you know has access to the funds, we are a 100% volunteer organization. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. I'm not paid anything for what I'm doing here, and neither are any of our other volunteers. Everybody's a volunteer. You know, so every donation that we get, large or small, the $5, the $10, the $50, those donations all go to our global mission. It's not going to paychecks. It's going to operating our, our huge and constantly growing website. 
It goes to the expenses all associated with that primarily, and we're looking for the large scale funding for the property. This is our idea of creating a global sustainability collaborative. Open source and free share all the foundations, make it easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrate it's attractive enough so that others will want to replicate it and then work with those that are willing to open source and free share their foundations as well so we can create an increasingly larger and larger, exponentially larger suite of open source tools, tutorials, and resources and different ways to live sustainably, different ways to create teacher demonstration hubs. And of course, we're going to start with the seven villages that we've been designing and then work with others around the world as they build villages as well. And as we just get increasingly, increasingly more that's available for people open source and free share and invite everybody to participate that wants to make it as easy as we can. This is how we're creating global change. We definitely invite you to join us. Uh, as always, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we talked about in this video and so much more, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email, every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way or join us on social media. Lots of different ways to do it. Bottom line is we're creating a global collaborative for global sustainability. You're invited. You're invited to share this information with others. If you know anybody who'd like to get involved, please do. And for all that are already following our progress, thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the little donations that we get to help us stay afloat, continue to do what it is that we're doing. And uh, thank you for the support in whatever way works best for you. Even if it's just energetically wishing us well or saying, hey, great video, all those things make a difference as we continue to, as always, keep on keeping on. Thank you.